Hello. This lecture will show you how to manage SQL Server database by using Visual Studio 2019. First, open Visual Studio. Click Continue without code. Then I will link database to show in the Server Explorer. If you don't have the Server Explorer window when start the program, go to View. Select Server Explorer. If it is hidden, show it. Go to View. Select Server Explorer. Then we will link with the database. First, you need to know your server name. Go back to SQL Server. Right click and select Properties. The server name is on the right hand side, or you can use localhost. Go to Visual Studio. Click Connect to Database. Or right click on Data Connection. Select Add Connection. If you want to create new database, click Create New SQL Server Database. Now, I will focus on the database which we created before. To display on Visual Studio, right click on Data Connection. Then select Add Connection. Make sure that data source is showing Microsoft SQL Server. If not, click Change. Then select Microsoft SQL Server. Click OK. Server name, I show you before, MSI. Select Mode as SQL Server. Fill in username and password. If you want these to auto-filed, click Save My Password. Click Test Connection to see if the connection is successful. Once the connection is installed, it will show database. Select the database to use, now we are using Employees Database. Click Test Connection again. The connection is completed. Go back to SQL Server. We use this database, Employees Database. Why do we create a connection? Because we don't want to switch between two programs, which will confuse us. Now the database is show in the Server Explorer. I will change the server name to, dot, and backslash. It works. Can I entitle localhost? Test connection. It works. I just wanted to show you as example. But the server name is actually MSI. Let recap. Right click to properties. Use the server name, as it is show. To avoid confusion, click save password here. You won't need to fill in password for next time. Click OK. You'll see Employees Database displaying on the Server Explorer. Click Refresh at Data Connection. Click Expand to see if all the table are there. You see there are two tables that we created. If you want to see the data, right-click on the table and select Show Table Data. Now you see data on the SQL Server is now showing on Visual Studio. I will pin on the Server Explorer window. Let's see Department Table. Click Show Table Data. You see there are 5 departments that we created, you can make change to the data here. Let me show you an example. I will use Employees Table. Right click and select Show Table Data. I will change Tonin 5, 2. Tonin 555 and Tonin 4 2 Tonin 444. Refresh the table. Go back to SQL Server. Refresh the database. Go to Tables and select Employees Data. You will see Tonin 444 and Tonin 555 because the data is updated to here. 
The method is to reduce confusion from switching between two programs, SQL Server and Visual Studio. We can pull the data to Visual Studio. This is just an example to see the updated data is linked. Next example, we can change table structure. I will change the column name. Right click on employees table. Select open table definition. It will take a while. Then it will show script T SQL or transact SQL. I will change the name of column. From phone to phone number. After making change, click Update Database. There is an error occur. Let read to see what went wrong. We have created view and the data is linked to view. Let go to view. Hit refresh. See? We have created view. We will delete it for now. Delete and refresh. Go back to update database. Click update. Now it doesn't show any errors. Click update database. At the bottom, it shows update completed. Go back to SQL Server to see if the column name is changed. Hit Refresh. Right click and select Design. You will see the column name as phone number. It changed from phone to phone number. This is just an example showing that you can make changes on Visual Studio. But I don't recommend. You should not change the table after being created. It might affect linked data, which errors will occur. This show that making changes like this, can lead to errors. It affected view because the column was changed. Now I will unchange it. Phone. Go to Visual Studio to see if it updated. Hit Refresh. Right click to show table data. Phone is now display here. This lecture shows, how to connect database from SQL Server to display on the Server Explorer, in Visual Studio. That is it for this lecture. See you in the next lecture, thank you so much.